Yo, what is up guys? Taco here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Minecraft Live is starting as the mob vote has now officially started. So let's get into it real quick. Before you, uh, before we do though, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Anyway, let's get down to it. So of course the first mob is the crab. It is going to basically give you a, craw a, claw a crab claw, which will basically extend your building uh, reach. It will, as far as we know, it will not change anything to do with combat reach or breaking block reach. It will only uh, extend how far away you can build. It will also wave at you, and they do spawn, maybe, also, and they also spawn in mangrove swamps. Number two, the armadillo. This mob can be found in the savanna biome. Um... And it like it also like turtles will drop a, uh, a type of scute which you can use to craft armor not for yourself but rather for your pet wolf. And that's pretty cool. And last but certainly not least, we have the penguin. And the penguin basically will spawn in the stony shore biome. And as far as I know, I don't know what it drops. Nobody has confirmed that or not. I'm pretty sure it'll probably just be feathers or something. But anyway, what the penguin will do is it will make traveling by boat in the water a lot easier by making it go a lot faster. It's basically like Dolphin's Edge or whatever it's called that the dolphin gives you when you're swimming. But it's basically for boats and it's penguins. So, yeah, I don't know which one I would vote for. Actually, I do. That was a lie. I just I just rather feel like it's. In the be my best interest to keep it to myself. Lastly, I would also like to discuss three potential update ideas for 1.21. What we could possibly be expecting. And it could be a combination of these three. It could be two of them or it could just be solely focused on one. Number one is the desert update. The reason I say the desert is because it is, I believe, the only biome or the oldest biome that has not been updated in a very long time. I believe we're going on nine years since the last update for the desert, which included, I believe, the desert temple, those weird desert oasis well things, and uh, desert villages. I think I just said desert villages, but uh, desert temples is the biggest one here. Other than that, they have not experienced any updates. Uh, number two, the end update, which everyone has been asking for since, I believe, the nether update. And, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of it. Just like the desert, it has also went a very long time, I believe since 2015, since it was updated, which it was updated, um, like with the Elytra, the End Cities, Purple Blocks, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and the third option, which I believe is both, is both the most and least, uh, likely, most likely and the most unlikely, which is something to do with the Deep Dark. Mainly that giant allegedly looking portal thing. And the reason I say that is because it's likely because they've, you know, already updated stuff with the warden. So, hey, why not just get it over with and then not touch it for another five, ten years? And it's also unlikely for the same reason because they literally just came out with updates, I think, like, what, two in the last three years or so that have something to do with the warden deep dark. And yeah people would probably get tired of it and be like, where's the end update? I'm going to put my money on number two, the end update, being the most likely, unless they literally just don't care or if they have other things that they are more interested in right now. But yeah, that is basically my take on Minecraft Live, the Minecraft mob vote. I know that there is a motion to uh, like get rid of the mob vote. I will not comment on that as everyone has been everyone everyone else has kind of been talking about it i don't really want to focus on the negatives i kind of just want to stick to the positive of the vote which you know i'm not gonna lie i do wish that they wouldn't trash the 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 uh the mob vote or they wouldn't trash the mobs that don't win the vote i mean think about it it's not the fact that like the copper golem sucked it's not about the the uh it's not the fact that the la was just so good that it had to be in the game there's nothing wrong with the 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 kraken there was also nothing nothing wrong with the the ostrich or the vulture or whatever 
I mean, it's just the fact that they put something else that was much better in people's eyes on, you know, on the table. And it's not that these things sucked. It's just that they had to go up against things that were better. That That's kind of all I have to say about that topic. Um, lastly, I may as well, since it's the end of the video, nobody will probably stick around for this anyway, mainly because all the information or the important information is done with. So I will go ahead and share the mob that I will vote for. And that mob will be the crab. And it's very odd because I love penguins and I've been wanting penguins in the game for so long. But I just, all of them are useless to me in a, you know, in some way, shape or form. But I believe that the crab is the only mob that I would actually find some use out of. And it's also really cool. Like it just looks cool. The fact that it like will wave, that, that that's pretty cool. Like I know it's like just the, you know, stuff that it does, you know, not really it's like main ability, but I think it's cool. The others, of course, I have nothing against them. Like I said, they are all equally useless to me, I feel like. But the crab is like the one that I feel like will sl I will slightly have more of a use out of. And yeah, like I, like I said uh, before with all the other mob boats, if there was one mob that I could say, yeah, let's bring that back or like, like bring it actually bring it into the game, I would probably say maybe the copper golem or the vulture because those are pretty cool. Um mainly so I can, for, you know, try and uh, get forgiveness from the chicken for, you know, forgetting that it was also a bird in the game of Minecraft. But yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. One thing, actually, I just thought about it. One thing I would like to uh, point out is that I believe that 1.19 proved to us that just because something lose, loses a mob vote doesn't mean it is scrapped from the game altogether. Hence the update of the mangrove swamp and frogs, which of course I'm pretty sure there's only a limited amount of things they could add to a swamp update anyway, like alligators and and that, that that's kind of all I got. Yeah, alligators and frogs. Of course, there's probably something else, but I digress. Anyway, I won't waste any more of your time. Make sure you get out and vote, 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 and and vote, and also uh, stay tuned for uh, you know Minecraft Live, which comes in two days. All right. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and entertaining. If you did, make sure, like I said in the beginning, hit the like button down below. Comment down below as well any uh, any uh, feedback or suggestions that you may have for me. And subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already for more amazing content. And with that, I will let you all go so you can hopefully go and vote. And uh, yeah, so have an awesome day and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>